Diaka and I'm a consultant with LSAT Unplugged. Thanks for joining tonight. Um, starting this week, we're going to do a little bit of a series on kind of writing your essay and, and tips and tricks to get that done um, in each stage of writing. So today, you know, there's no better place to start than the beginning. So we're going to start with kind of um, how to start writing your essay and brainstorming topics and, you know, what um, admissions is looking for in that, um, especially in that personal statement. Um, happy to talk about other statements as well, but um, for this session, in terms of brainstorming, I think we're going to focus on personal statements. So if there are any questions, um, feel free to put them in the chat or come off mute, um, and we'll get started. So I am going to share my screen. Share this. Okay, hopefully we can all see. Um, and so really, I really want to start talking about um, kind of how to brainstorm your essay topics. Um, I think when we first think about, you know, ooh, writing a personal statement, um, you know, we all think of a story, right? And when we think of a story, um, it's usually, we kind of think of it for our hook. Um, and we're like, oh yeah, I have this great moment in time that I, I want to talk about in my, in the hook of my story. And it would lead, I, it would be a great lead into, you know, why I want to go to law school. And I think that um, I've seen nine out of 10 people start off their essay that way. And that's not a bad thing. Um, but I think the, the way that we think about it um, is kind of interesting because we always think of the story first and say, oh, and then like, it'll tie into why I want to go to law school. And many times at, when we start thinking about it, we don't define the why we want to go to law school, right? So it, it's this session um, and this um, kind of class, we're going to really think about how we can get that point across and really think through um, all the things that you need to include in your personal statement um, before you start writing this long piece about the hook and then this like last line of why law school. So um, getting started. So first off, I think the personal statement is a really interesting piece of writing where it's not really narrative. It's not an, a, a paper. It's not a, um, a persuasive paper either. Um, it's not a bit piece of business writing. It's a really interesting piece of writing where you're combining personal perspectives, narratives, and then a, a action forward. So um, I think unless you do this as a profession, uh, it is really hard to get into the habit of writing something like a personal statement. And this goes for a diversity statement as well. Um, I think it's hard to talk about yourself um, in a way that is really simplified and understandable to a mass audience. And I think um, that's the mass audience piece is something that we keep forgetting, um, is admissions is a mass audience. They are people who are looking for people who will be a good fit into a school. So it's not the lay person, but also across the U.S., there are different people who sit on admissions committees. So you can't expect them to be, um, super, super experts in one area of, let's say, engineering or technology or arts, right? Um, we want to make sure that the language, the way that you're writing is understandable by a common person. So it comes across mostly the same um, across all the schools that you're applying to. So with that being said, I think it's important to get used to writing. Um, if you're right out of college and, and um, you're, you are in a major that writes a lot, um, which I have experience in, um, you may be very 
very used to writing and, you know, can get out of not writing to writing very quickly. Um, if you've been working for a while and, you know, your day to day is a lot of email writing and proposals and all of that, this kind of writing can be very difficult. Um, also, if you're if you don't write on a day to day, um, it can be very difficult as well to to start this kind of narrative style writing. So really, you want to get used to writing um, and there's different ways to do that. Right. Sorry. Jumping ahead. Um, and the recommendation I always have is start journaling and, you know, just maybe a paragraph a day, just kind of reflecting on the day and and get used to your brain thinking of words in a written form. Um, doing that for a week can change your writing style very drastically. Um, and the reason why I say this is because if you are not used to writing and you write that first draft, um, by draft 10, your writing style will change. And the sentences you keep from draft one all the way through draft 10, they float um, and it's very easy to identify like, oh, that's something that you wrote in your first draft or your early drafts. And it stylistically doesn't fit into the, the last draft. So really, you know, it's not a big issue, but if you're used to writing before your first draft, you can kind of mitigate some of these like, massive stylistic changes over the course of the many drafts you're going to write. Anyway, uh, moving back to the, the personal statement itself. Um, so writing, um, you know, especially for a personal statement, we're talking about ourselves, our lives, our experiences, and why we want to go to law school. And in that, um, you know, not everyone's uh, why is the same, not everyone's experience is the same. Um, and we really want to hone in on your voice, tone, and style, right? So those three things are really important um, when you want to write a essay that is easy to read, easy to understand, um, you know, emotionally, if something is very emotionally charged, you want to make sure the tone is right or the, the voice is right for that um, emotionally charged story, right? So we really wanna gauge all of that. Moving on to topic, um, you know, the personal statement, most schools, they're very, very wide, right? The, the, the breadth of topics that you can choose from. Um, but I think these that are listed here, fairly common, you know, why law school, why you're a fit for a particular school. Um, I, you know, you could say I have legal experience, you're compassionate, so, or you want to be an advocate for people. Um, you know, you had a life-changing event, your family had legal troubles, all those things, um, valid topics, right? They're, they're not uncommon. Um, doesn't mean you have to choose an uncommon topic, um, but it's all about how to make it yours. Thinking of all of these things, um, you know, this usually happens after you start thinking about that hook story, right? Like that story you're like, oh yeah, you know, I'm walking into the courtroom to, you know, be a witness to um, you know, your parents' legal troubles and they went to court and you were there sitting there trying to understand, you know, that story that you have in mind is usually independent of these topics that you might think of. Um, so when that happens, your essay ends up being like a, a, a hub and spoke sort of situation of you are basing that story, you are basing your essay on that story that you wanted to tell. 
And then you say, oh yeah, I have to talk about why law school. Oh yeah, I have to talk about what I'll bring to the law school. Um, and then I also have to talk about, you know, what my accomplishments are because, it, you know, I want to sound impressive. And then, you know, maybe you want to talk about a specific program at the law school that you really want to participate in. Um, and then, you know, maybe another accomplishment that really reinforces why you're going to law school. So it can turn into this big, massive thing. And, and then, you know, you come and say to yourself, oh my gosh, I don't know how to fit this into two pages, right? And those of you who've had years of professional experience, it might be even difficult just to choose which story to tell. So really, um, it this way of kind of looking at your essay might not be the most productive is, is my, my whole spiel today. Um, if you take home one thing is maybe think of your essay from a different point of view. So um, like I said, this is a lot to put in. Um, and you know, two pages is generally the guidelines. Um, there are schools that go up to, you know, four pages, but really two and a half, three pages, if, if you get that leeway, um, is probably a good sweet spot. Um, that's a lot to put in. And I have to say your whole life is not going to fit onto two pages. So don't force it. Um, so I think a different approach than asking, oh, you know, write a personal statement. And then, you know, thinking about that story, you're like, oh, that's an interesting way to start my essay. Um, I think the first question we can ask is, what do you want the law school admissions to know about you? Um, usually when you ask this question, um, there, the, most people will say, you know, I'm compassionate. Um, I'm a eloquent speaker. Um, I'm detail oriented. I, I love this, this part of my career, but I see the gap. So, you know, that's what I want to fill. I'm super passionate about something. You know, those are the things that usually people say when you ask, what do you want the law admissions, the law school admissions to know about you? You're not going to say, oh yeah, that one time I walked through the doors of um, this company and I saw the injustice. That's not really what you're going to say when, when you ask yourself this question or you, when you ask anyone this question. So that's the framework that I think I want everyone to kind of think about when they're looking at their personal statement. Um, a little bit of a side note. Um, I think, you know, a lot of times you see essays that say, you know, I want to help others and it's very, very generic or kind of self-motivated, like I want to make a lot of money. Um, I think these two reasons are fairly generic and I don't think that um, it, it's conducive to an interesting essay. Um, at the core, I think helping others is important, but the how is also important of like how you're gonna bring that individual um, spin to that. So, you know, really kind of think outside, not outside of the box, but think beyond just, oh, I wanna help others um, or I wanna make more money, right? Let's, let's kind of expand that a little bit and think about how you're gonna do that in the legal space. Um, another way to think about it, um, I don't know if anyone has heard of Simon Sinek and his lecture um, on the Golden Circle. He did a TED Talk, and it is one of my favorite um, YouTube videos that I refer back to over and over. Um, I love that sort of, uh, you know, kind of way of thought. And for me, um, this golden circle of the middle being the why, you know, your big why, why are you doing this? Why, what motivates you to make this big change for yourself? And that's at the core. The how is, you know, how you, you're going to accomplish that. And then the what, right? Like what happened? So I think um, many times our essay sits in the what um, part of the circle um, and actually what we want to get to is the why. And, and this is kind of the big key thing that we want here 
um, in your personal statement. So if you're missing this, it almost feels like a wishy-washy essay. And I know when I read essays, people who state their why, but have like a, a like a really not well-written essay, it still has a lot of weight compared to a well-written essay, um, you know, of their sentences are right, they have great grammar, they have great expression, but the why is missing, it feels a little wishy-washy. So really think about where that focus is in your essay. Um, different way to reorganize this, tears on a topic, the big why is always important. I say it's, it's at the top of the pyramid. Um, it is it is where everything comes down from. So um, we really, really need that big why. Um, and then, so moving on, um, I wanna talk about scope. And this is kind of a different, uh, difficult conversation to have, um, but it, it's a little bit abstract. So when we talk about scopes of topics, um, many times we're talking about a personal experience. Um, you know, you experienced an injustice. You've, you know, you've participated in some event that made you feel like you wanted to go to law school. Um, those are very personal experiences. Um, and kind of, you know, going back and, and categorizing them in different uh, scope categories. Why do we do that? Um, I do it so I know the balance between how much you need to divulge of, of specifics, right? There are certain stories that require a lot of explanation, a lot of specifics. There are other stories that don't require a lot of, you know, background, a lot of um, outside information to understand that story. Um, so when we talk about personal experiences, um, you can look at three categories. So general, these are personal experiences. However, they're, the background is a big event. So for example, if you're talking about going to college, a lot of people, and especially the majority of people going to law school and applying to law school have gone to college. So big life event, but it's kind of pretty general. Um, big, big national events. So uh, national and international events. So um, what was extremely popular last year, and I still see it this year, um, Black, Li Black Lives Matter, the election, COVID. Um, we don't see this too much anymore, but, you know, sometimes we get a reference of it. 9-11, um, you know, big international events um, that a majority of people are aware of, especially COVID. Um, everyone had an effect, you know, was affected. So really, um, these are not stay away essays. They're more, if you're going to talk about it, you need to give more of your experience rather than talk about what happened. It's really easy to say, this affected our town, my, the, the businesses, X, Y, and Z. Um, but really, we want to shift that focus to yourself. Um, the specific category, this is where the majority of essays will, will be. Um, these are big events in your own life that are pretty unique to you. So if you had a particular legal trouble, um, for example, if you filed for bankruptcy and you had to show up in court, um, you were working in a law-related field or you're working in a currently working in a firm, um, work experience has, has led you to a legal profession, um, life-changing events, uh, it, for example, a death of a, a grandparent or a relative who worked in the legal profession, for example, or, you know, doesn't have to be, but had a big impact on you. Um, this is one category where you need to provide some background information along with your experience. So you have to find the balance between the two and also kind of keep in mind that there's a page limit. So there's only so much that you can explain um, and 
you know, you have to add your own spin to it. Um, I wouldn't say this is, this is the most common because there's a lot of people um, and especially people who are applying to law school who have had experience with the law um, in, in their job, in their life experience, um, all of that. Um, and so we're kind of a self-selecting group here. And so that experience itself is not, may not be extremely unique, but it is kind of by giving us your perspective and your experience, it's making it unique. Lastly, we have the niche category. This is one where you have to give a lot, a lot, a lot of background um, to actually understand a story. So um, for example, if you are an engineer um, and you're making this big switch to a legal career, um, you know, sometimes you have to give a lot of context to what you were doing. Uh, maybe you're in a really, really niche position um, in, in your professional life. And so you have to give some background to that to kind of establish what you are talking about. Those are the things that uh, get put into this niche category. Um, this is where, um, this is the, the most difficult category because, not because it's difficult to write about, but it's difficult because you have to simplify your story and the fear is always, um, oh, somebody's not, somebody's gonna think I'm not a professional in that line of work if I don't say this. And actually, uh, it's much easier to come across as, oh my gosh, this person is a professional and they know what they're saying um, than you think it is in your mind. So really think about how much you need to bring in into that essay. Um, going on here, just going back, I do wanna talk about the pros and cons here, a little bit of each category. Um, and this can, this shouldn't, drive you away from writing an essay in one of these categories, it should always help you to write the essay. So if you can identify which category you kind of sit in, um, it can help you identify, oh, I shouldn't do that. I should do this. I can tell my story better in this way. Um, so for general topics, like I said, these are like big big, big events that, you know, everyone, you don't need a lot of ex explanation to understand. And, um, you know, the topic is general. Everyone's going to really understand what you're saying in, in two seconds, right? If you wrote in your essay, you know, and, and then COVID hit, you don't really need to give too much more information for people to understand what's going on. Um, however, the con to this is that you need to do a lot of work to make this essay unique, right? Everyone went through COVID. So how are you going to make that story very unique to yourself and give your own perspective? That isn't something that's common, that's out there all the time, right? Um, you really need to talk about personal actions, feelings, etc. What happened and then what were your actions coming out of it? Um, we saw so many COVID uh, essays last year, um, a little bit less this year, but I do have to say it's really hard to differentiate between one COVID essay and another, um, not to scare anyone away from that, but it's, it's very difficult to, to make it your own. And I've seen it done very well and I've seen it done not very well. Um, so it, it's, it's a little tough, I have to say. Um, the specific category, you know, most situations are not too difficult to explain. Um, we all know what a courtroom is. We all know what a law firm is. We all know what a death in the family feels like. Um, so, you know, I don't think it's, you need to overly explain a situation. Um, to, but you can still make it unique to yourself, right? Um, this is a category where we see a lot of people fall into the story that you want to tell over the story that you need to tell. Um, we see a lot of personal trauma stories um, in this category. Um, and when I say the story you want to tell versus the story you need to tell, um, 
there is no need to have a struggle in your personal statement. There is no need to have to have experienced this extreme trauma. Um, and this is not to diminish anyone's um, trauma story, right? It is, you know, those stories are extremely important and extremely personal. Um, and, you know, you might feel like if somebody doesn't know this about me, um, they don't know me at all right? That's something that some people can feel. Um, that's not, <laughs> that's not the, the, uh, that might not be the appropriate essay to write here. Um, the story you do need to tell is your, your journey, your journey to law school, why you're going, um, and, and why you're pursuing a career in legal. Um, so that's really what you want to, you want to get to. Um, also, it can fall into the uh, origin story trap, which is, you know, the story of like, oh, I was seven years old and I was going through my father's library and I found this law book and I, I was sitting there, you know, and and you're talking about a seven-year-old um, and never making that switch to the your current self and why your current self is making this decision to go to law school. Um, so, those are the traps there. Um, it's very common to see those. Um, but if we, you can avoid it and really talk about an experience that is unique to you, um, I think this this category is, you know, the most common and, and probably the the easiest to write. Um, going to the niche category, um, this usually is pretty cool, and it's really cool to see essays that come into this category of like a niche, niche point of view, um, because it's this very niche point of view, it's an interesting point of view. Um, and it, it fits well for those people who have a lot of work experience, those people who are applying to law school um, 10, 20 years into their career. Um, this is a really cool essay to write. Um, however, the con is, is that there's so much information that you need to share, that you are sharing more information than your experience. And so um, a lot of times people who write in this, this uh, category of essays, they've written a page and a half of um, all these intricate things about their job and their experience. And then they're like, the last two sentences, this is why I want to go to law school. So we really want to avoid that. Um, we want to keep it personal, talk about yourself, your experience. Um, don't try to over explain, um, keep the story simple. So that's really the, the meat here today. Sorry, I keep scrolling. Um, that's really the meat here today in thinking about your personal statement. Um, I, I, I know this is a lot of information, but I think really the, the basic of it is think about it, the personal statement, not as a hook and then the, just the why, um, but more, what do you want admissions to know about you? And what story is going to convey those qualities about yourself in the right light? Um, you know, people who um, write those really tough essays about trauma that it, they experience, it shows a lot of strength. Um, but sometimes it ends in just trauma and, and not kind of come out of that. Um, into either action or, you know, their why, why law. Um, so we really want to be careful of that and kind of make sure we come out with action items and, and, and why you're pursuing this career. So, um, you know, I, I think I, and I hope the takeaway is to think of the essay a little bit differently. Think of it in this what do you want the law school admissions to know about you um, question? Um, and I think you would be better off uh, if you start that way. So I know I've talked for 30 minutes. Um, any questions out there? I'm happy to take on like brainstorming ideas now if we have any. Give me another minute. 
Okay, great. Um, well, thanks for sticking with me. Um, I, you know, if you have any questions about this class um, or any of the classes that are coming up, uh, feel free to, you know, send in questions to admissions at lsatunplugged.com. Um, and if you want your essay read, um, also reach out to admissions at lsatunplugged.com and, and we'll get that on the calendar. Um, thank you for your time today, and I hope you learned something, and uh, have a good night. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them, and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best, and take care.